Hello everyone. Today we will see how we calculate crystallinity index. Crystallinity index is a quantitative indicator of crystallinity. To explain you in details, I have took one schematic uh, <clears throat> plot. So this is what uh, look like uh, XRD data. So we have a peak, uh, this which represent the crystallinity peak. To calculate crystallinity index, we must need to have one baseline from which we can calculate the area. So we need to select the each peak and then we need to calculate the area of each peak. Once we have calculated the area of each peak, then we need to add the all the area of each peak and then we need to calculate total area of this plot with after calculating the total area and area of each individual peak we will use this following formula to calculate the crystallinity index we will do this same thing in the origin let's go to the origin pro so here i have xid data so we will plot it so we can see the we have two intense peak we will calculate the area under these two peak uh, this plot is a baseline corrected one so you can do baseline correction by your own you can see my following video by clicking on the eye icon now to analyze to calculate the area under each peak we will go to the analysis peak and baseline connect correction peak analyzer we'll open the dialog so here we can see the integrate peak we will select this one and then we will go to next so here we see that we have baseline which is minus 19.84 so next time we will calculate the total area the baseline should be the same for accurate result we will click the next we will click the next and then what we do here we will add the peak into our so we will add peak We will click on this and we will click on this so I'm not clicking on this because in this uh, click I will consider this also based on your knowledge you can or your uh, application you select your peaks I'm just showing here how to do and then we will collect the next so here we need to adjust the width of selected area so we will just select on this and once you will click so here two center line is there two red red line is sub representing so i will select this much for this one the right part is so this is covered two peak So now it look good so I will click the finish let's check the data so here I have two peak and area under two peak is given so I will copy this one and paste into excel file and we can sum it So this is a total area of peak next thing we have to do is we need to calculate we need to calculate the total area of this entire graph so we will go again peak and baseline correction open dialog go to integrate again see the this value should be the same the last time also that it was 19 point minus 19.84 so it is same so 
you can go with this and this time we need to do one thing we need to change the peak to one peak so we we need to deselect all peak and we will change it to one so here we got one peak we need to adjust width of this one so i will select the all area once i have selected this has covered the both crystalline and amorphous region now we will click the finish so we have got the area here also and this will again i will copy it somewhere so our crystallinity index ci will be area under peak divided by total area so here in this case crystallinity index is 0.61 i can say so this is how we do how we calculate crystallinity index thank you